out and getting juice. See? So the G the GFCI receptacle was kicked. <laughs> There's a reason we weren't. <laughs> I, I, thought, I thought we wired it up, man. <laughs> and we got Dad. Dad, you did my ah. thing. Dad, you did <laughs> my <laughs> meter. All right, guys, so we are hooked up. We got the RV plug in place and everything is working. Um, it's the end of the week, and so our plan was to get the big projects done so that we can move over next week. One big project got finished. We didn't get the well plumbed yet, but we are powered. We're, we're powered. We've got so, electric. So that's yeah. the big deal. And um, So we have septic. We have electric. Uh, we will... Lord Willem will build the pump house. Have you already shown all that? I just showed it a little bit. I'll show again in you just can a minute. Go ahead and visit, show our. So here's our. And this will be for our well pump. It's not wired yet, but this all comes pre wired. And there is our. This is just to make sure that no. Because it's kind of loose. Usually they'll kind of lock, but we'll get something a little more secure. But that's to keep a deer or wild turkey from knocking it. And then we've got to put a piece of a bracket here we got to pick up. That's just a piece of wire we screwed in. And we'll cover this next week. But our well there's that one. We already showed that. Yeah. So. It is but it's now charged. Charged. Wired up. Wired, it's wired up. Wired up. And so this will be covered. And over here will be removing the the hydrant, removing the hydrant to that side. This is going to be the entrance to the cellar. I don't know if I can get under that. Nope, I can't. Oh. <laughs> Limbo. <laughs> nope. So we built some steps That'll going be the down. That'll entrance to the cellar. And then this dugout is, well, it's right at six feet wide by eight feet uh, long. So our door will come in right here. And then we're going to do, we're experimenting with we use some real, we're just doing two before walls, but we're doing them on uh, 12 foot centers and doubling up the ends. And then we're going to do a patio roof. Yep. But I'm going to use some big beams. Saying two by 12s probably to overdo it. And then we're going to lightly cover uh, the top just to see. How it does if it starts to we'll be able to watch it if it was to start to bow or do anything like you know because we've never built root cellar so but I think it'll work yep first time for everything yeah we've built a lot so just not that. we've done a lot of bit we've just never done a root cellar we've built uh, we've overbuilt and underbuilt other structures so this will be the main reason to doing this in the ground is so that we can get more insulation for the well pump or the pressure tank. This is where all of our uh, accessories or equipment for the well will be. The uh, pressure tank, pressure switch. But then we'll also, that won't take up that much. And we're going to do it eight foot high. Because that the first what I said was the original plan. We may end up doing just a peak roof, still maybe like tuba eights or something. A lot of insulation, you know. Uh, make sure that we've got it for the snow load. That won't be a problem. Uh, do a peak roof. Still not a hundred percent sure, but we're ninety percent sure we're going to do flat roof and overdo it on our supports our rafters maybe even a beam in the middle and cover it and have us a nice little 
Place for them kids to play. <laughs> Place to put our pickled corn. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, let me get a little bit. While we were, me and the kids come over a couple days ago. And we started clearing. And so we have a pile of rocks here. And they started piling up rocks here. And we've got this big mound. And we're going to try to try to figure out some type of little sifting device or something. We, we've got a dump cart and swords that we're going to bring over. We've just got so many rocks. And we've got big rocks that we're going to be using. We've got little rocks that we can be using. We just have to figure out a way of... Of using them get them separated we also have um it's kind of bumpy and lumpy the land and the soil so we have to we're wanting to kind of flatten everything and fill in low spots so we started piling up and removing stumps and then we're going to start lining the road we got gravel which you saw at the front at the beginning of the video we got gravel and then we just started lightly lining three rocks lightly. Those things are heavy, super heavy. So once we pile them all up, we'll start moving them over and lining them up and lining the road. We're going to make some raised beds, probably use the rocks for raised beds also. All right, guys, so that finishes us up for this week. We will see you all next week when we pull the camper over.